All right, so you wanted more information. That's what everybody who watched our last video from U Avionics here at AirVenture 2023. More information on the retro pilot because this thing is cool. I love it when we're pushing technology, even just experimenting and seeing what's out there. So I'm here with Jason Coral of U Avionics. We're going to talk a little bit more about what this is. Jason, can you fill me in a little bit? Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, we're pretty excited here. Uh, as you know, UA Vionix is uh, always trying to think outside the box um, and push the, push the envelope of what, what we can do in an airplane that hasn't been done before. So um, what you see here is, uh, I think you've, you've mentioned it before, but this is our uh, our retrofit, single axis, clamp-on, bolt-on autopilot solution. A, basically a portable autopilot, right? Exactly. That's on your yoke. And you guys have actually done some testing. Explain how this works. Absolutely. Yeah, so we've done uh, various tests with this in, uh, in a 172 that I fly. Um, we, we've used a ram mount solution. Other people have looked at this and said, well, how does it mount to my yoke, right? Yeah, there's ram so, mounts, there's a whole sort of thing. Yeah, so there's out. different ways we can do it. We've done ram mounts now, other strapping solutions. If you if you think of uh, how people are mounting iPads to yokes uh -huh. now, right? That's, a, that's an approximate two pound weight that somebody's okay. got hanging off their yoke. Um, it's a very similar situation, except we're doing something with the weight, right? right. That hasn't been done before. So uh, what we've got here, like I said, is we've connected this, this moving weight mass. You could almost think of this as like a 3D printer, yeah. right? This is like an X-axis on a 3D printer moving around and, and building stuff. Well, we've built something cool. Uh, we've tied it in with our certified attitude source from our AV30, yep. uh, using the data that, that uh, this combines, so a GPS source, magnetic heading, um, oh, so you can even follow a course with it. It's not absolutely. even just a wing leveler. Absolutely, no. Oh, wow, Sing that's cool. Single axis, we've got wing leveler mode, we've got um, uh, follow a heading bug, and uh, GPS steering. So a single <laughs> axis autopilot that retrofits to your older aircraft, clamps onto your yoke, and gives you GPS steering. How cool is that? I mean, I thought at first it was just, you know, literally just a wing leveler for aircraft that have a very light yoke, but it turns out that that can have a pretty big effect. When I think about even the Bonanza that we fly, the trim system is nothing more than a spring that you turn with your hand in the center. And so just that spring loading there will turn the plane. And so here you are, you're, you're moving a weight and obviously it's not packaged at this point. This is just your experimental kind of prototype on it. Yep. But I didn't even realize it'll follow a course, it'll do all that. And, yeah. of, and of course it works with the AV30, which I love, we're putting it in the Bonanza, we've got it in the Mustang, um, that's that's pretty wild. Yeah, the, the AV30 is the heart of our ecosystem and it's enabling us to connect with other devices in the cockpit and bring that data uh, to the to the pilots in new ways. Right? Wow, yeah. I, I, I love it. I mean, again, the avionics are, are just so cool, especially when you talk about some older, lighter VFR aircraft where you, want, you don't want to get rid of the nostalgia of it and you can take an AV30 and change what the screen looks like. You can put a vintage look on it, yep. which I love. And then the idea of a portable autopilot, which again, will track and do GPS steering. How cool is that? Yeah. So, yeah. And then you guys have Wi-Fi uh, that can be connected through your AV Link. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, and AV Mag for remote magnetometer. So all those things work together to make this possible. That's right, and of course, with the AV link that you mentioned, or Wi-Fi, you know, we have a tight integration and a great relationship with ForeFlight, uh -huh. and we build the, the Sentry uh, ADSB receivers yep. that, that so many people use and are happy with. Um, our AV link connects with that Sentry device automatically. Wow. So there's potential there to get that flight plan data through our AV link and into your retro pilot. So well, I can't wait to, yeah, I mean, that that is very cool. I can't wait to see some video of this thing flying. I can't wait to try it. Um, that That's awesome. So you asked for more information here, and this is it, a peek inside the retro pilot from U Avionics. Thanks so much, Jason. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Great. Here for AirVenture 2023, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight Blue Skies.